Hello everyone, my name is Karthik and today we'll discuss about the most frequently asked questions in our post-graduation program for data science and analytics. I have with me Curious Kritika who wants to learn more about the course and curriculum. Before we get into your questions, let me help you understand a little bit better about our course, right? The course has a core track where you are taught a lot about the core fundamentals. Let's say it could be a lot of Excel, SQL, Python, statistics, machine learning and Tableau and Power BI, right? So the core track will essentially help you get better with basics and fundamentals. Once the core track is done, there is something called a specialization track, right? In this specialization track, learners will go through extensive problem solving and learn a lot more about applying those concepts that they learned in the core track into real world business problems. These real world business problems could be from different domains like be it retail, e-commerce, BFSI, healthcare, travel and hospitality, so on and so forth. From an assessment point of view, there are multiple things that we do like assignments, exams and mocks. And on the other hand, we have hackathons, data science competitions, as well as blogathons. From a career prep point of view, we help them get better with their aptitude, communication, as well as interpersonal skills. We also help them build their personal profiles. And the best part about this course is it comes with interview guarantee. Now let's get into your questions. Hello, Karthik. My first question would be, what is the duration of the course? The course duration lasts for about six months, but depending upon the mode that you would take, it could vary but typically it's for six months. Who are the trainers and what kind of background do they come from? The trainers typically come with rich industry experience. These could be professionals working with top data science companies and as well as sometimes they could be teaching at certain institutes as well, right? So we have a mix of uh, trainers who come from rich industry background as well as academic background. These folks are stalwarts in their own domains and they bring extremely rich experience to the table. My next question would be, is the course online or offline? We offer both modes of learning. It could either be online or classroom driven, which is offline. So I have a doubt. I'm from a STEM background and one of my friend is from a non-STEM background. Can we both take up the course together? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, our curriculum is designed in such a way that both STEM and non-STEM folks can take up this course and it shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, that's a relief. So what are the tools and technologies do you cover in this course? So as part of this course, we cover Excel, MySQL, Python, Tableau and Power BI, Hadoop and Spark, as well as AWS. So basically we cover the entire gamut of our data science suite, right? So will this course cover Python in detail? Yes, we do cover Python in detail. We start off with the basics of uh, the Python programming, and then we take it to the next level of you know, learners being able to learn the concept of data science within Python. And that's how they'll be able to write Python scripts within the entire data science framework, right? So um, that's the long answer short. How important is SQL for data science? I would say it's very important and primarily because in most companies, when you start off with problem solving, the very first step that you do is probably extract data from multiple databases, right? So MySQL predominantly teaches all of those concepts, right from extracting, transforming and loading data to databases. So SQL is very, very important, I would say. So I feel I'm about to complete the course. So what roles can I get into? Well, the roles could differ, right? It could be ranging from, you know, roles within the entire descriptive analytics space of being a business analyst or a data analyst or perhaps you know Tableau or a Power BI developer or it could be a lot more on the predictive analytics or predictive modeling side which could be data scientists or data engineers or AI or ML engineers. Bottom line is it really depends on your areas of interest. Oh, that's exciting. Um, what kind of companies can I get placed at? I would categorize that into three buckets. It could either be a product based company or a services based company or some startups as well, right? Um, just to give you some names, it could be the likes of Tesco, Citibank, State Street Bank, Mu Sigma, The Math Company, and some other startups as well. That's great. Thank you for all the information about the course. I'm looking forward to join the course soon.